dear students, I am Mrs. Oludipe Odubolanle Oluremi. I am your mathematics teacher for this session. And the topic to be treated is Arithmetic of Finance Part 1. Lesson Objective At the end of the lesson, students will be able to A. Calculate the simple interest given the principal, rates, and time. SI is equal to PRT over 100. B. Calculate the compound interest using the formula CI is equal to P bracket 1 plus R over 100 raised to power of N minus P. Enjoy the lesson. Arithmetic of Finance Under Arithmetic of Finance or Financial Arithmetic We have simple interests, compound interests, annuities, inflation, depreciation, etc. But we shall only discuss Simple and compound interest in this session. Simple interest. In a financial transaction, the money borrowed or saved is called the principal. Interest is paid on the principal and is usually proportional to the principal, rates and time. The relationship between simple interest I, principal P, rate R, and time T is given by the formula I is equal to PRT over 100. Example 1. Calculate the simple interest on 2,500 Naira for 4 years at 12% per annum. Solution P is equal to 2,500 Naira. R is equal to 12%. T is equal to 4 years. I is equal to PRT over 100, which is equal to 2,500 Naira times 12 times 4 over 100 which is equal to 25 times 12 times 4, which is equal to 1,200 Naira. Example 2. What said 2009 question 5? Find the value to which 3,000 Naira we amount in 5 years at 6% per annum simple interest. A. 3,900 B. 3,750 C. 3,600 D. 3,300 Naira Solution Hint From the question P is equal to 3,000 Naira R is equal to 6% T is equal to 5 years SI and amount is equal to unknown. Amount is equal to principal plus interest. SI is equal to PRT over 100. SI is equal to 3000 times 6 times 5 over 100. SI is equal to 900 Naira. Thus, amount is equal to 3,000 Naira plus 900 Naira. Therefore, amount is equal to 3,900 Naira. The key is A. Let's go on a short break. Welcome back. Compound interest. If the interest 
is added to the principal at regular intervals without being paid to the lender or depositor. Then the principal grows as the interest is added. This is called compound interest. Most transactions in banks and other financial institutions operate on compound interest. Whereas, in the case of simple interest, the interest is constant throughout the transaction. Hence, cooperative societies, Ajo, Esusu, all those one operates on simple interest. Simple interest favors the customers, while compound interest favors the financial institutions. In calculating the compound interest, the principal at the beginning of each year must be found. If the interest to be paid in the first year plus the principal forms the new principal for the next year, thus the principal continues to increase as well as the interest. Mathematically, CI is equal to A minus P, where A is amount and P is principal. But A is equal to P bracket 1 plus R over 100 raised to power of N. Therefore, CI is equal to P bracket 1 plus R over 100 raised to power of n minus p, where n is number of year, that is time, r is rates, and p is principal. Example 1. Find the compound interest on 400 naira for two years at 8% per annum. Solution. Hints. Compound interest can be calculated in two ways. One, without the use of formula, that is the use of simple interest calculated for each year, is vital here. Let us study the preceding example carefully. Two, use of formula method as stated earlier. Now, let us first solve the question without the use of formula. Given P is equal to 400 Naira, R is equal to 8%, and T is equal to 2 years. Applying I is equal to PRT over 100. First year interest I1 is equal to 400 times 8 times 1 over 100 which is equal to 4 times 8 times 1, which is equal to 32 Naira. Please note, the use of time is one year and not two years. Amount for first year is equal to 400 Naira plus 32 Naira. New principal is equal to 432 Naira. Second year interest, I2, is equal to 432 times 8 times 1 over 100, which is equal to 3,456 over 100, which is equal to 34 naira 56 kobo. Amount for second year is equal to 432 naira plus 34 naira 56 kobo. Last principal is equal to 466 naira 56 kobo. Therefore, compound interest is equal to 466 naira 56 kobo minus 400 naira, which is equal to 66 naira 56 kobo. Meet you after the timeout. Welcome back. Alternatively, First year principal is equal to 400 naira. 
That is, interest is equal to 8 over 100 times 400 Naira, which is equal to 32 Naira. 8% interest is equal to 32 Naira. Second year principal is equal to 432 Naira. That is, interest is equal to 8 over 100 times 432 Naira, which is equal to 34 Naira 56 Kobo. 8% interest is equal to 34 Naira 56 Kobo. Adding everything together, amount is equal to 466 Naira 56 Kobo. Compound interest, CI, is equal to amount minus principal, which is equal to 466 Naira 56 Kobo minus 400 Naira which is equal to 66 naira 56 kobo example 2 using formula method for same question in example 1 compound interest is equal to amount minus principal which is equal to p brackets 1 plus R over 100 raised to power of N minus P. Here, P is 400 Naira. R is 8%. N is 2 years. Substituting these values into the formula, we have compound interest is equal to 400 brackets 1 plus 8 over 100 raised to power of 2 minus 400 which is equal to 400 brackets 1 plus 0 0.08 raised to power of 2 minus 400 which is equal to 400 bracket 1.08 raised to power of 2 minus 400 which is equal to 400 bracket 1.1664 minus 400 which is equal to 466 naira 56 Kobo minus 400 Naira, which is equal to 66 Naira, 56 Kobo. Note, if no restriction is given, we can use any of the methods in solving our compound interest. Problems, but not both at the same time time. References. Check Wase 2008 question 5 and 7. 2016 question 8. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and remain blessed.